Okay, so this is a data transfer test on one of the Seagate GoFlex external hard drives. Here you can see I'm dropping the file in and it's a nice mixed file with lots of different things in there to try and simulate a real world data transfer time. Now I'm lucky enough that the computer which I have the desktop has USB 3 connection. So here is the USB copy to the external hard drive. Um, you'll notice the times go up and down a little bit depending on the files and what you're pulling across. Something like a movie or a TV show will generally be quicker than a whole heap of images. But USB 3 powers along either way. Now, um, the GoFlex drive, I'm sure you can see plenty of info on that online. There's other reviews and unboxing and all sorts of stuff like that on the drive itself. This is just purely on the transfer times on my own tests. Now you may know say that when I drop it back onto the Dex desktop I'm actually copying over the existing file. I'm not writing a new file to the computer or um, but hey you know it's a good enough test anyway. And we can see there's some nice quick times from the USB 3, especially writing to the computer. Now to give you an idea of the computer, I've got the um, general system information down the bottom. So you can see that it's running some pretty good specs in terms of an i7 processor and 8 gig of RAM. So you'd expect it to be fairly quick. Now here we have copying over the good old USB 2 to the external hard drive. So testing the right speed to the hard drive. And once that one's done, we'll then test the read speed from the hard drive to the computer. Now, why I chose the GoFlex drive is because I have a computer at work which has the USB 3. I have my personal laptop at home which has an eSATA drive on it. And then anything else which you come across, you always have USB 2 standards. So I found it was a pretty flexible drive which would allow me to copy stuff across um, especially this drive is a 1.5 terabyte so I try and use it to store all of my bigger files um, so I want something that should cross across those sorts of files fairly easily. Now as you can see we've slowed right down when we go back to USB 2 and the time will pop up in a second and it's just over a minute so I think it's about 63 seconds um, so it's fairly long in terms of copying to the hard drive. So. The times which I've got displayed were measured in the timeline of the video and I've tried to take them from all the same pointers. You know, they're not exactly spot on exact times and this is a pretty low tech test. Um, you know, I'm not using any special software or timing or anything like that. I'm just trying to simulate some real world conditions. Now also you may notice I've blurred out a lot of the info, that's just purely for my own privacy because I did use a mixture of my own files and documents and things like that. So yeah. Now we've just about completed the USB 3 and USB 2 tests on my computer, so a desktop computer. Now that computer is running some pretty good specs, so it is, you know, pulling some decent transfer times there. Um, the motherboard on it is pretty well supported too. Um, for the eSATA stuff, because my desktop computer doesn't have the powered eSATA drive, I'm going to go to my laptop to do that and this is going to pop up any second now. Here is the laptop, now screen resolution being different, we're a little bit more zoomed in here. So laptop specs popping up down the bottom there and I'm using the eSATA connection to copy that same folder with all the same exact documents and everything like that or files onto the hard drive. Now you may notice the laptop is running a dual core 2 processor which is a little bit slower than the i7 and half the um, RAM there so 4 gig of RAM so still decent specs on it but it's not just not quite as powerful as the desktop was. But it's still pulling some fairly respectable transfer times on the eSATA um, on the right. So we get 39 seconds, it's pretty good. But on the read back to the laptop, it's slowed right down compared to the USB 3 anyway, sorry. So yeah. So the speeds, um, you know, in the USB 3 are pretty respectable. The read speed from the external hard drive to the computer being 15 seconds was huge. You know, I was really impressed with that. 
and here we have it transferring. Now, as I said, in terms of if you want to see what the drive looks and unboxing and everything like that, I'm sure if you just search GoFlex on YouTube, there's plenty of videos already showing that info. So 37 from the eSATA onto the laptop. And then we're going to, just for comparison stakes, um, I'm going to show you what the USB 2 is on my laptop. So we have USB 2 copying that file to the external hard drive. And you'll see that the stuff with the laptop um, is just a bit slower because of the processor and the RAM speeds. Um, the hard drive, I mean, sorry, no, the motherboard that's on the desktop runs some turbocharged cache thing, I'm not sure, but um, it advertises that it does stuff a lot quicker. And I'd sort of back that up in terms of copy speeds and everything like that on USB 2 are fairly quick. There's no struggle on the desktop in getting a good solid, you know, 20 to 30 megabytes a second on your USB transfer times. But you can see on the laptop it's a bit slower. And as I said, this file that we're copying across has some real world conditions in terms of mixture of images, music, um, videos, documents. There's a whole heap of different documents, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, Word documents. So I really tried to replicate real world stuff. And there we go, 75 seconds writing to the hard drive. So pretty slow there on the USB 2 front. And then we have the read speed. So from the hard drive back onto the computer with USB 2. And as I mentioned the first time, I'm just overwriting the file. Um, personally, off the top of my head, this isn't my area of specialty, so I don't know if that affects the, the write or the read times at all. Um, but hey, that's what I chose to do, was just to, to put it straight over. And so USB 2. Coming up to the end there. So back to the computer, still fairly good speed, 42 seconds. And here I've put up all the results for you to have a look at. So test results from the computer and from the laptop for the USB 2, USB 3, and then USB 2 and eSATA. So you can see all those. Okay, that's about it. Um, hope this has helped you in making a decision if you want to purchase one of these.